Welcome back everyone. In the last video, I have discussed how to do a basic setup for Flutter Hive application. In this video, I will discuss about box. What is box? Data stored in Hive is organized in a box. Now before we can use a box, we need to open it. How to open the box? Let me move to home controller. In home controller, let me remove these codes. This is a, these codes are not required. Now inside the init method, first of all, I will open the box. And to open the box, here I will write where box equals to await hive dot open box. And here we need to specify the box name. Let it be my box. Now while and here I have used await, that's why here I need to declare this as async. Now while opening the box, optionally we can specify the type as well. If the specified type is a string, this means in this box we can store only string type of values. But if you don't specify the type, this means we can store any kind of value. Now once the box is opened, we need to get a reference of the box. How to get a reference of the opened box? Let me declare a variable here where b equals to hive dot box. And after that, the name of the box which I have created, that is my box. Fine. Now, let me print the box name. And to do that, here I will use b dot name. Now, let me restart. And here you can see the box of the name, the name of the box is printed, that is my box. Similarly, if you want, you can print the path also. This means where the data is stored, that path you can also print. If you remember, in the last video, I told you that we need to initialize the hive. And initialization means it specifies the path where the data will be stored. If you want to print that path, then here I can write b dot path. Now let me auto restart. And you can see here that the path is printed my box dot hive because the box name was my box in main dot dart i told you that this init flutter here you can specify a subdirectory as well let me specify the subdirectory as my location this means now my box dot hive will be stored inside this my location subdirectory let me do a hot restart once again And now you can see that my box dot hive is stored inside my location. Okay, this is all about the basics of box. In the next video, I will discuss how to write data to box. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching.